In today's video, we are going to transform your Shopify product pages from this to this. No coding required, no app purchases, anyone can do this. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. All right, so I'm using Shopify's free theme since, and by default, here's how the product page looks. It's not bad, but I feel like it's missing a lot of elements such as trust badges, a star rating, and customer reviews. All right, first things first, we are going to create a few meta fields. If you look at Vessi's website, these little things here are what we're going to be creating. It's a way to organize and store product information without putting it all in your product description box. So things like materials, care instructions, ingredients, and etc. Vessi's has put their product description in these little tabs as well. I have mixed feelings on that, but for this tutorial, we are going to do the same. From your Shopify dashboard, click Settings, Meta Fields, Products, and click Add Definition. The first one we're going to create is Materials. So type in Materials, then click Select Content Type, and click Text. Shopify made an update on April 6th where you can now add meta field lists. So previously, if you had a list of ingredients, for example, you would type them like this. But with the update, you can now type your list like this. To activate that new feature, all you have to do is click this right here, except list of values. Click save and we are going to create our next one. Click add definition again. Start typing care and then care guide should pop up here. Click that, then click save. Last one, click add definition, type description, click select content type, select text, select multi-column text, and save. If you're new to meta fields and want to see some more examples of what you can do with them, check out this video here. All right, now let's go to our product listing. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you will see the new meta fields here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste what I currently have in the description box to both organize my information and save space. The last one here is materials and you can see the list feature in action. All you need to do is click add item to add more lines or you can click the minus here to delete any you don't need. All right, let's save our work and then we are going to add it into our product page. You'll see here if I view my product, all the information I entered is nowhere to be seen. These tabs here are included by default with the sense theme, but as you can see, they are empty. So click customize on your theme, click on this drop down menu here, click products, default product. As I mentioned, these tabs here are included with the sense theme already, but if you're using a different theme and don't have these, under your product information, click add block and click collapsible row. Since these are already here, we are just going to edit them. So click on ingredients first. We are going to change the heading to description. And then you can click the drop down here to change your icon, or you can just select none if you don't want any icon. Then under row content, we're going to click this right here, insert dynamic source, and we're going to select description and click insert. I'm gonna do the same now for care instructions and materials. All right, return policy is just an extra, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this block, then save your work. And here you can see that all of our information is now tucked away within these tabs. One last thing before we move on, you're going to notice a bit of a gap here. 
This is where our product description would be, but since we've moved it all into tabs, we can go ahead and remove that block. While we are here, if there's any other blocks that you feel are unnecessary and are just taking up space, feel free to remove them. For example, this one at the top where it says Ecom Geeks, is that necessary? For me, no, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And same with this share button. You might decide to keep these blocks, it's totally up to you, but as you can see, we've already condensed our information quite a bit and it's looking a lot more clean and organized, and it's also making more room for more essential pieces of information. This leads me to our next step, which is adding our star rating and our customer reviews. These both hold a lot of weight with potential buyers, so let's go ahead and add that in now. Click add block, star rating. I'm going to drag this up right underneath my product title. I'm going to change my alignment to left. And if you want, you can play around with the size of the stars here. Next, we are going to add in reviews. So click add block, click reviews, and I'm going to leave this one at the bottom here. If you don't see reviews as an option to add, you will need to add the product reviews app by Shopify. The next thing we're going to do is add our trust badges. So save your work if you haven't already, and then exit out of here. Click apps. Customize your store and search for ultimate trust badges. Here's the one we want by Conversion Bear. It's 100% free, no trials or anything. You can just use it. Click add app install app, and then you will be brought here. If you click select badges, you're going to see hundreds of payment providers to choose from. And as you scroll down towards the bottom, you're going to start to see things like this, where you have money back guarantee, authorized dealer, fast shipping, and as we scroll down even more, they have things like cruelty free, not tested on animals, vegan, and more. I'm going to select my badges in a minute, but really quickly, I wanna show you that you can change the appearance of these badges, which I highly recommend doing so that they all have the same appearance. You can select monochrome or have a card outline, whatever you like. You can also change your alignment and the size for both desktop and mobile. And then up here, you can choose to erase the text or change it. And you can also change the alignment as well as the font if you want. Here's what I did for my badges. I chose free shipping, money back guarantee, 24 seven customer support and secure checkout. I removed the title that was here. And here are my badge settings. I forgot to mention this before, but you can choose an animation for your badges when they load. I set mine as none, but it's another feature you can explore and play with if you want. Once you're happy, make sure to save your work and then let's head back to customizing our store so that we can add this in. To add it in, click add block, select the trust badge widget, and then I'm going to drag mine up right below the add to cart buttons. We are going to change one last thing, which is my favorite upgrade, and that is to change our color variants from text to nice circular color swatches. For this one, we're going to need another app. This one is called Globo Color Swatch. When you get here, you can select how you want the variations to display. For size, I'm going to leave it as button, but you could choose drop down or any of the other ones shown here. The important part here though, is that for your color variation, you should select color or custom image swatch. When you're happy, click next steps. Here is where we can choose the template we want for our product pages. You can click through these and select whichever one you like best. This next page has a lot of options for you to go through. I personally didn't adjust anything here, but it's there if you want to. Our final step is to select which theme we want to install this on. Once you've selected your theme, click install. 
Now it's going to ask you to preview your product page to see if the swatch worked. You will see that it doesn't, but that's okay. We just have to configure one more thing. So go ahead and click, I see the swatches. Under color, click config. And then you're gonna go through and put in all of your colors. You will notice that they have an option for a second color here as well. So if you want it to look like the Vessi's website, you would enter a secondary color as well. Click save. Now, if you check your product page and it's still not working, click theme integration and make sure the correct theme is selected. I installed it on Sense, but somehow it defaulted to Taste. This has happened to me two times, once when I was testing the app in preparation for this video and when I was recording it. So definitely something to check out. One last thing to note about this app is if you add a variation after you've installed the app, for example, I had added a color variation for the t-shirt so that I could test out the color swatches, but then I realized I forgot to add size. I did, and then my size variation wasn't showing up. It just had a gap where it should be. If that happens to you, click on options and click sync now. With all of that out of the way, here is our final product. I'll have all the apps I use linked in the description box. And if you have a request for something else you'd like to add to your product pages, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.